Welcome horns, guys. Um, I did not. I don't think I ever got around to doing a video on the Mexico game. I didn't see it, so just as well that I didn't do a video. Texas Ole Miss. This was the first game of the season where I felt like I think a lot of people felt like we'd really get kind of a true feel for this Texas team. Um, I don't think anyone expected Ole Miss to be Texas, but still, it was an impressive showing, and I was pretty impressed by the Longhorns. Um, we did, of course, a fantastic job running the ball again, as we've been able to do with everyone so far this season. I feel like the third year, you know, I said this before, the third year in this system, um, Texas is really, really starting to thrive running the ball. They just did a great job. They had well, well over 300 rushing yards in this game against Wyoming. Where did that come from? Um, in this game against. Um, Ole Miss, but David Ash really surprised me. He threw the ball pretty well. Um, they're still taking a few too many shots downfield, I think. Now, they're not. They're doing it against lesser teams. I think they're just trying to get a feel for him throwing the ball down the field. Um, but I was pretty impressed with what I saw from him. He, not all of his passes were great, but they were good enough that he allowed his playmakers down the field, guys like Goodwin and Davis, to make a play on the ball, you know, uh, so he gave him a 50-50 chance. Some of these passes he's not going to be able to throw against teams like Oklahoma. And we've got murderers row coming up. Um, West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State. I think it's actually Oklahoma State, West Virginia, and then Oklahoma. But, uh, so we could be, we could pretty realistically be looking three and three right in the face. Now, Oklahoma's got a great offense, but I think we'll still be able to come away with the win against them. I, I really don't see us being Oklahoma. And then the same thing with West Virginia. I think they've got a really talented offense, but they're going to be going up against our fantastic D. And I don't think their defense is going to be big enough or strong enough to stop us from running the ball. So I think realistically we'll be 5-1 and one after we get done with this streak. But anyway, uh, we've got a week to think about that because we're off next week. Um, but just a fantastic job running the ball. We forced, we forced our will upon another team, yet again, and I love seeing that. Malcolm Brown ran the ball very well. Um, of course, we had that trick play into round two. Well, it's not really a trick play. It's, uh, I guess, um, maybe for a Big Ten team it is. But, you know, we hand off to Goodwin on the end of round, and he just took it 80 yards or something, or maybe it's 70. I forget how exactly how many, but he took it to the house. And DJ Monroe, again, with another – fantastic touchdown run. I don't know what it is with him. Every So far, he's had three really nice touchdown runs this year uh, on three games where he just showed his physicality. And it's kind of cool seeing this running game develop for Texas. Um, but like I said, David Ash, he, just, he did a great job throwing the ball. Um, I was just really surprised when I saw from him because he didn't throw as many rinky-dink screen passes, little dump-offs today. There's a lot of passes downfield. And like I said, um, a lot of his passes weren't great, but they were good enough that he allowed a guy in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Because that's, that's, that's key, too, that he was throwing to one-on-one -on -one coverage. He was making the proper read. Uh, but they were good enough that he gave his guy a 50-50 chance coming down with the ball. And, you know, he just threw it up to his playmakers and tried to see what they could do. Had a sky-high uh, completion percentage rating. Uh, last I saw it was 84, and he threw for just he was just really looked really sharp out there. Had a had a, a perfect pass down the seam in the cover two to Mike Davis at one point in the game. Um, it was very uh, that pass was very Colt McCoy esque. I don't want to compare him, but uh, especially since Colt's brother is on the sideline, <laughs> calling plays for David Ash. But still, I was pretty pleased with what I saw in this game. Our defense gave up. You know, one pretty authoritative touchdown drive in that first half. But, you know, we gave up 31 points. It doesn't look good on a stat sheet or on the scoreboard. But most of those points came after the game was well out of reach and we were just kind of bored. Um, and our back, some of our backups were in and all that. Um, but the, the, the amount of pressure that we were able to put on um, – Ole Miss was just fantastic. We only had two sacks in the first couple games combined, but we forced three turnovers here in this game. And I don't remember how many sacks we had. Last I saw, 
it was six. And Texas had six sacks in the game. Um, <laughs> it was just Texas defense just played fantastic, did a fantastic job getting pressure. Um, and of course, you know, you do not underestimate the fact that as as a run first team, I mean, we had a really good balance here today, but as a run first team, we racked up over six hundred yards of offense and dropped sixty six points. And that's, I mean, when was the last time? When was the last time that you saw Texas drop 66 points? I don't, and so I'm looking at the recap here trying to figure out um, how many sacks Texas had exactly, but and I, I don't see it here. But anyway, the last time Texas dropped 66 points was a long time ago. I frankly don't even, I don't think they've put up 66 points um, in, in the entire time I've been a fan of Texas, um, you know, last I mean, with, with Colt McCoy's senior year, we we put up. Um, let's see, we put up 59 and 64 against UTEP uh, a couple times, and yes, I really I think the last time I did that was. The year we won the championship, when um, Vince, you know, the Ben Jung team dropped 70 uh, and beat Colorado 73 <laughs> in the uh, Big 12 championship game, but 66 points in this team—that's a fantastic showing, and that, that gives me a lot of confidence going into the season because our offense was a huge question mark. And there were times last year against teams that weren't even that great that we still didn't do that well offensively um, and weren't able to put up big numbers, and so. To see them, like I said, drop this many points, rack it up the yards against a team who's not great, but still a solid opponent, Ole Miss. I mean, I don't know how good they're going to be overall. They've got a good quarterback, but um, it's just impressive that, you know, that we did not do this against Rice or against Wyoming or whatever, uh, New Mexico, that we did this against and as a team who's used to competing week in and week out with high quality opponents in the SEC, and we were able to just throttle them like this. It was really impressive, great showing, and I'm excited to see Texas moving forward in this season. I think we'll be really good. Um, you know, I still think we'll probably come out with two losses, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, you know. Got Oklahoma State, then West Virginia, then Oklahoma. Yeah, it's a tough three-game stretch, but then we get a couple games off before we uh, close out the year with two tough ones again. But that's we're getting way ahead of ourselves there. But um, I was just really happy with what I saw from the team, from the guys, a lot of different guys making big plays, getting involved, and David Ash looking pretty sharp. And I guess I have to give kudos to Mike Brown for going to going with Ash instead of Case McCoy. I guess it's I'm officially on the David Ash bandwagon. <laughs> uh, it took me long enough, I think, but I'm on there. And sorry for being so hard on you in the off season and <laughs> so far in this season. But uh, we'll see what happens the rest of the year. Keep keep killing the horns. So, yeah.